Hello everyone and welcome to my fir the first of my Vlogmas videos. Um, if you've been around these parts for a while you'll know that every year I've been doing Vlogmas, whether it's weekly Vlogmas or that sort of thing. I'm not sure whether this is going to be two Vlogmas videos, whether it's going to be three, four, we will see as time goes on how much I get to film. I um, had meant to vlog do a November monthly vlog and then I kind of basically had no content because I've done nothing for the whole of November apart from sit in my pyjamas and loungewear um, and fluffy socks and work. Um, so I did start vlogging, so for those of you, for those of you, I haven't uploaded it, um, but maybe for those of you that follow me on Instagram, and as you can see from the background, I came back to Stoke, I'm not in London anymore, um, because they announced another national lockdown and the inference when they announced it was that it would likely go on for longer than the three and a half weeks. Turns out it's not and they're putting us back into a tier system but I've been in Stoke with my dad and my stepmother and the dog um, which has been really nice. Definitely way better for me and my health than sitting in my room in London on my own for three and a half weeks with no human contact or minimal human contact. That's been good. But it's now the 1st of December so welcome to Vlogmas um, and I've got my Oh, you can't really see me. Got my advent calendar here. Um, I've got a Heroes one this year. So I thought I would open it on camera for day number one. Um, so you want a thing of vanish, you're going to fall off, I think. We'll go with that. Um, so I said it's the 1st of December today. Tomorrow, the national lockdown officially ends and we go into the tier system. Um, but because London's going to be in tier two work, I've put a couple of in-person meetings in the diary. So I'm going back to London on Friday. I'm off Thursday and Friday this week, but I've um, got some annual leave I need to use. So I'm off Thursday and Friday. So I'm going back up on Friday. Up, down on Friday. And then I'm potentially staying for like until the 13th. So for seven, eight days. But it, they, there's a meeting that they've not yet put in the diary. And I'm a bit like, can you please hurry yourselves up so I know what I'm doing in my life? But they haven't. Um, but I'm gonna unwrap my advent calendar now. Sorry, I've been listening to Fleetwood Mac for the last two weeks. Now it's stuck in my head. Right, where is door number one? Let me turn you the other way. Okay, door number one is here, and it is a whisper. Oh. That's exciting. And there's a scanny thing. I don't really know what that is, but oh well. So I'm gonna have this now. I need to find somewhere to put my advent calendar. Um, and I will see you in a minute. Hi everyone. So good morning. As you can see, I say good morning, it's five to twelve. Um, but as you can see, I am now back in London, back in my London room. Today is the 5th of December. Um it, I said it's five to twelve. I've had a lie in because I, I watched a film last night so I went to bed quite late and then I just put some washing on and drinking some tea and just about to sort my hair out because it is a little bit crazy. So today, very excitingly, I think I have found the maybe one Christmas market that's happening in the whole of the country. <laughs> so basically the, the ha Hackney Christmas market which is happening, happening at Bohemia Marketplace um, Bohemia Marketplace does markets like all throughout the year um, or Bohemia Place, I can't remember if it's Bohemia Marketplace or Bohemia Place but they do them throughout the year and last year I went to a Depop market there um, but they are doing Christmas market with like independent sellers, um, artisans, stuff like that um, but they're doing it um, so this weekend the 5th and the 6th, both Saturday and Sunday and then the next two weekends um, both the Saturday and the Sunday, so those are the 12th and 13th and then the 19th and the 20th, which I'm like, it's actually very clever because then obviously they can spread out all of the traffic and whatnot, especially maybe if people didn't know about it for this weekend, they'll hear about it for the ones coming up. So by the time this vlog goes live, there will still be a few of them. So if you're in London and you want to go to Christmas market, head over. Um, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description box to the Facebook page or something um, so you can check it out, but I'm going to take you guys along for that and meeting my friend. Carolyn, uh, another of our friends is meant to be coming, but she's not feeling too well. So 
say I'm just meeting one friend, but it was meant to be chucking it down today, so we were originally planning, we were just planning on going on Saturday, which is today, and then it said it was going to chuck it down, so like, we'll go tomorrow, and then the, re then the weather forecast changed. So now we're going today. Um, but it'll be nice, and I always love Christmas market, but I always hate they're always so overcrowded. But I think because this is more like an indie one, I'm hoping it'll be slightly quieter. Um, and it's blue skies today. Yesterday I travelled back, um, which was a little bit of a palaver, but I got back in the end, um, which was good. I kind of woke up this morning and thought I was late for work because I was off. Th I was off Thursday and Friday. I think my subconscious thought that was Saturday and Sunday, so it was morning. Like, Shit, I'm late. I wasn't. It's Saturday. Um, so that is good. <laughs> Definitely very very good. I also because I was on the train and stuff yesterday finished my book so I was reading the testaments by Margaret Atwood so the problem is that obviously when I went back to Stoke like three or four weeks ago I thought that I was probably going to be going back until like the new year um but I've ended up that I've come back for like somewhere between a week and two weeks um and I didn't quite think I would finish the testament so fast when I went up I took the other two books that were on my TBR pile with me I don't know if you can see, no, this chair as well, I'm truly covering it up. There you go. There is my book shelf or half of it. Um, I pretty much read all the books and obviously I've asked for books for Christmas, but I found I found one book on my shelf that I haven't read yet, which is Two Dark Reigns by Kendall Blake. This is the third book in the Three Dark Crown series. Um and I read, I might even have reviews of the first two books in the series on my channel because I read them back to back in 2018, read them super fast. So that's why I then got the third one and I've just not read it since. Well, I only know it was 2013, 18 because I went and checked on Goodreads. Um, so I could only just remember, but like I can, it's honestly, I've got a fantastically good memory. Um, apparently it's very annoying. So it means the things like books, I can remember quite vividly, like a book that I read two years ago is why I never reread books. But I could never then go and t explain to someone like the full story um, of what happened in the first two books. But that's fine. So I've picked this up. I got got like 20 pages through last night. So I'm going to take it with me to read on the tube. Um, so it's this one. But I did also order a couple more books to come. And they're coming tomorrow, maybe. So when they do, I'll show you those. Um, I really enjoyed the Testaments. I'll probably talk about it. might talk about it more tomorrow. Um, I really enjoyed it. I can see why some people had issues with it. So it's like the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale. I can totally see why people had issues with it, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it kind of felt like a bit of a, not a different spin on it, because it's not, because it's like a sequel. Um, like the Aunt Lydia, if you've seen the TV show where the books, the, art, the book, the Aunt Lydia character, POV was really interesting. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling now, it's gonna be like five minutes. Um, and I'll probably see you either when I'm looking slightly more presentable or at the market. Right, I'm all ready to go. I'm wearing my Fleetwood Mac t-shirt, which is from Nasty Girl. This, um, my new pink Saturday My Megan Ellaby, like long sleeve high neck top, which is pink and red leopard print. And then just my pink beanie. And I'll be off. Now I've got you on my phone because um, I couldn't be bothered to put my camera in my bag. But the weather, as I say, it was meant to be chucking it down today, like sleety, snowy, weird. The weather is wonderful, like perfect winter weather. I'm wearing, I've put my, I've got this, um, it's like a puffer coat, but um, so fur. It's like the perfect puffiness that doesn't make me look like a fool. Because I've been so sure they do. Got it a couple of weeks ago, drove Mark down. I think it's from New Look. I'll, um, link in the description if I can find it but um got it for dog walks and then kind of fell off with it so I'm wearing this with the outfit I showed you earlier I think I put my I don't know if I have a glass on when I showed you that I'll put my glasses back on because otherwise I'm a bit blind my usual top shop jeans and then a pair of black boots that again I found just before lockdown headphones that I'm now losing I found just before these boots just before lockdown um, I've had them since then. so my feet have not, I have not grown my feet, so foot size have not changed since I was about 14, 15. I've had these boots since then and wore them for like every festival. Let's see if I can show you. 
um, but they've got like a really good salt they're from Primark and they've lasted like 10 years so rather impressed anyway gonna put my headphones in listen to some Chris's music and get on and I will also just show you how lovely the day is because it was meant to be awful You're very low down, so I'm just kneeling, kneeling, bending. Um, but I had a really nice time with my friend at Hackney Christmas Market. Um, I definitely remember to take some clips here, took them on my phone, but I hope that's fine. Um, it was so good. I got, um, there were so many food options. It was a little bit overwhelming when I'm getting some gnocchi, which was lovely. And then a, um, what was it? It was like, um, sort of dough balls covered in hot um, Terry's chocolate orange sauce. It was so good. Then we stopped off and got tea. Um, but there was so many like independent, everything Everything there is like independent stalls. So there wasn't like a big Christmas tree or anything. There was just lots of cute little stalls, food and non-food. Um, so my friend brought some bath salts with, from this really, really lovely woman that I'm like, I want to be friends with you. I then brought a ring. So I'll try and show you so I can get this to focus. So is this ring. Sorry, that's not going to be very bright. Um, but it's this ring, which it's handmade by the lady, which is really cool. Um, and it's got a little shell. Now, the shell is actually gold, whereas the rest of the ring is silver. And then inside the shell, as I hope you can kind of see, it's a really cute, like, turquoise colour. Um, so that's really cool. You can light back a bit. Um, and then I also picked up, there was a couple of people that were doing, like, um, soaps um scents um and candles and stuff now i don't i love candles i used to use them a lot in uni i haven't eat, brought as many since i've been in london but this it's called they're called mook handmade um, it's in this really cute little tin mook candles are created by hand with eco soy wax and a select blend of essential oils then the back says when the candle is finished the jar can be refilled reused and recycled um of it because not sure but yeah that's it and the smell that I went for is neroli and ginger um she had there was it was a really lovely lady she also had soaps and then like oils for your hair and face but I got the candle this is a smaller size it's a really good size actually I think it was at 12 pounds and it's super fresh like there's no really smell of ginger at all um and then but yeah it's really nice really lovely so i'm really glad i got that i was originally gonna get a handle for my dad and stepmother for christmas but they like quite sort of fresh vanilla-y like bedding-y scents um and she didn't really have any of those so i sort of i just left that um but i'm really glad i got this and, and then um on the way home i just stopped off at westfield um and got a pizza went to a nurse got a pizza got two packets of sweets and then, um, what else did I get? Oh, and then I went to M&S and got a lighter so that I could light my candle. Um, that was really nice. So, that was my day. Um, I know I said earlier that I was going to vlog tomorrow as well and show you the books that came. But I'm aware that I think this vlog is going to be particularly lengthy so I'm going to end part one of vlogmas here and start part two tomorrow um so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for part one of my vlogmas videos to Hackney Christmas Market and then opening my advent calendar on the first day and I think that was all I might have vlogged I think um but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and as I said if you're in London the Hackney, I'll link put the link to the either website or the Facebook thing in the description box for Hackney Christmas Market because it's on um for the next few weekends so um it'll still be there so if you're interested if you live in london definitely go check it out i uh, said so there wasn't like a christmas tree 
any carols or anything but that was fine it was really nice um and it's always good to support independent traders and artists and creators especially in times like these and that's what everyone is there's no sort of chains around or big corpse or anything so i'm gonna stop rambling but if you've made it to the end thank you i hope you've enjoyed my first vlogmas video of 2020 and please remember to subscribe if you did enjoy it there'll be more vlogmas videos coming up in the next few weeks um i'm not sort of I used to do it where I would do a vlog, a weekly vlogmas, so there would be four. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do this year. At least be probably three, but maybe more. It just kind of depends how busy the days are and what I fit in and how much I talk. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. As I say, please remember to subscribe if you did enjoy and you want to see the rest of my vlogmas videos. And I shall see you guys soon. Bye.